All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Giving all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the Word intimately calls God in the name of His Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahushai, who the Word intimately calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to give a double honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, taught me his truth and double side taste, Tanya you Akim. The man that a proud signing name throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing his truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shout on to you, brothers, and to the Alqua, the feast sisters, the feast and sisters that follow the men of the Lord and listen and learning. To you, I say shout on. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit of power, Yah Bashin Yah Shah, Lord willing to edify and defeat the lands of Yah Bashin Yah Shah, Lord willing. And I don't know what I'm going to this lesson, but it's going to be about spiritual powers. I know that one thing. All right, because spiritual powers is coming to the elect of Israel, man. All right, because, hey, we're going to be like those X-Men. We're going to be like, you know, the superheroes in the shows. you see seen these, these shows and everything, but it, it ain't going to be no, you know, saving the world or, you know, saving anyone. All right. Hey, we're going to be getting down to the nitty gritty. All right. We won't be kicking ass, kicking ass all over. We're going to be kicking Esau Edom's ass, kicking two-thirds of our people's ass, especially these loudmouth women, all right? These loudmouth women, when they see the men of the Lord get raised up with them spiritual power, oh, man. Like I say, you ain't going to hear a pin fall from these women's, man. These women's mouths are going to be completely shut. They're going to be too scared to say anything. You know, come up against any man, the men of the Lord, with those spiritual powers, and let alone, all right? So all that running their mouths and all that shit, that's going to come to an end. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the scriptures, man. Because, hey, spiritual powers is coming. All right. And it's starting with the fisher. All right. The fishers, the ones that are prophesying and late throughout the four winds of this earth. And it's true with all rights and sincerity. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. For behold, behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, how about she all shy? And they shall fish them right now. We're fishing for the elect, but fishing season is coming to an end, all right? Fishing season is about to come to an end. That fishing, you know, we searching for the elect and, you know, trying to wake up the elect, that's coming to an end real soon, all right? And after, well, I sent from many hunters, those same fishermen that's prophesying and laboring, the men you see on the highways and byways, the men you see putting up these lessons up on YouTube, those same men are going to become hunters, for the Lord, how about she all shy? And what they're going to do? And after what I sent for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So those same men that are fishing right now for the elect, okay, they're going to become hunters, okay? So, hey, we're getting very, very close to that, that prophecy being fulfilled, all right? Let's see. Get this. This is Psalms chapter 18 and verse 33. He maketh my feet as feet my highest feet, and settle and settleth me upon a high upon my high place. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arm. So the Lord is gonna teach our hands to war. Alright, you see how those in the movie Mortal Kombat, you know, the X-Men. All these movies you see, all right? The Lord is going to teach our hands to war. The Lord is going to give us that spirit in that day. For, hey, if a bullet, you know, somebody shoots us, some trying to shoot us from behind, hey, bullets ain't going to be able to hurt us. Nothing ain't going to be able to hurt the men of the Lord in that day, all right? Because it's over. Once the men get ingrained with those spiritual powers, 144,000 bright burns are coming, all right? And they ain't coming to play games they ain't come to play nice they ain't even come to play <laughs> to save anyone like he said like brandon bryant said you know he was getting that message you know take the world and that's what the elect is gonna do all right along with your house shot and let's get let's prove that let's go to daniel's what the and they say is in daniel 7 and verse, i think it's verse 18 i believe yeah here it is Daniel's eight, it's like Daniel seven and eighteen, but the saints of the Most High, how about Shai, shall take the kingdom, 
That's what Yahushua is coming back to do. He's coming back to take down the kingdom of Esau and set up the righteous kingdom, all right, of Yahweh through his son Yahushua. That's what's coming, okay? Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High, Yahweh shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's what's coming, okay? Let's see. Let me skip down here. Down here to verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey. All the heathen nations, you Edomites are going to bow down, and you're going to serve Yahweh Bashi Yahshua, along with King David, the 12 apostles, and 144,000 mighty men, kings, rulers, and priests that are going to rule. Okay? Let's go back. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 18, verse 34 again. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arm nothing ain't gonna be able to hurt us in that day man okay the lord yeah is gonna grace some of his men with spiritual powers ain't nothing gonna when the men when the men of the lord get those spiritual powers ain't nothing gonna be able to hurt us not a bullet not a missile not anything these devils shoot at us all right because hey you saw he was ready why you think he's creating super soldiers he creating super soldiers to try to, uh, you know, <laughs> to take on the, uh, the elect men of Israel. He, these devils know that the elect men of Israel are going to be ingrained with spiritual powers. The elites know these things, man. The elites know these things. They put it right in front of your face in movies and television shows, etc. They put it right in front of your face. They know what's coming, Okay. And that's why they making these super soldiers to try to come up, you know, try to throw a Bible prophecy, try to throw it. Hey, <laughs> basically what they want to do is to try to, you know, to stop the men of the Lord, to stop the elect, stop Yahweh Shai. But it ain't going to work, man. Not going to work. Okay. Let's get this. Psalms 144. 144,000, man. <laughs> 144 in verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh Shai, my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Yahweh Shai is going to teach our hands to war and our fingers to fight in that day. Okay? My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people unto me. Alright? The Lord is going to. Lord Yahweh is going to give us the power to subdue our enemies, man. Okay? When they do come in like a flood, as it is spoken of in Isaiah 55, verse 19, which I don't have. <laughs> I forgot to put that in. It's lucky. That's a good scripture, man. All right? Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, because Esau going to come in like a flood. His Gerga troops, martial law troops coming in, trying to inject you with their poisonous injecting. Then the microchip, okay, which is the, you know, we all know what it is, which is the mark of the beast, the MOTB. You know, I hope this video don't get taken down for that, but that's all right. But hey, it is what it is. But hey, these devils going to come in like a flood. When they do, what's going to happen? Let's read it again. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shehoshai, from the west and his glory, from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shehoshai, shall lift up a standard against him. The Lord is going to lift up that standard, a way for us to escape, all right? A way to take down these devils, all right? So, hey, we're not worried about anything. The elect is not worried about nothing, okay? Because it's over. All right. Once these devils put their hands on us, that's game over, man. All right. Uh, got to put that in too. Thought I did. It's lucky. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon three and let's see. 
I'm going to start at verse 6. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 6. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Verse 7. In the time of their, vi of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stone. We're going to be able to run fast. We're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to do it all, man. All right? Heat vision like Superman. Let's prove that. Isaiah. Got that in there either. What the heck? Thought I put these scriptures in here. Slocky. Man. <laughs> Could have sworn I did. Slocky. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 40. Slocky. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahabashiyah, shall, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up at, with wings as eagles. We're going to be able to fly, man. Fly, just imagine being able to fly, all right, getting away from your enemies. That's the way the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape. They shall run and not be weary. We're going to be able to run fast, outrun these damn devils, man. When these devils going to try to come with their machines, their tanks, the Lord's going to make a way for us to escape. He's going to give us the ability to just boom, <laughs> run right on Run right past them, man. May be able to run up to speed to like 200 miles per hour. Or 300 miles per hour. Shit. And we're going to be able to run and not get weary. And they shall walk and not faint. We're not going to be tired. Alright? And these old, decrepit bodies, we get tired. We easily. The old, decrepit, you know. These bodies, they're weak and frail. You know. No drive, no strength, no nothing, man. You're like, you ain't got no energy, man. You're like, every day you wake up, you're like, damn. You ain't got no energy, ain't got no strength, no nothing, man. That's the curse, and you know, that's because we went under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And the Lord took that power away from us, man. He took that power away from us. But pretty soon, we're going to get it all back. And a lot more added to it, man. A lot more added to it. All right, so hey, we ain't worried about nothing. This is John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these shall he do. We're going to do be able to do greater things than how about she how did, man, like heal the sick, heal the blind, raise the dead. We're going to be able to raise the dead, heal people, all right? <laughs> we're gonna be able to do a lot of great things man all right those great things are coming and hey i strongly believe that we're gonna be delivered and me lord one i want those spiritual powers man i really do uh, hey and i know some of the men of the lord out there do too hey we meditate terror all right like it says in isaiah the, um i guess you know i think i got it in here let me finish reading this first and then i'll get it John chapter 14, verse 12. Very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he, sh he, sh do all he shall do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. All right, so hey, like Yahushua said, the works that he did, we're going to be able to do, and we're going to be able to do it 10 times greater, man. I think I got it. No. What's that scripture? Um... Thou shalt meditate here. I think it's Isaiah chapter 33, verse, hold on, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Isaiah 33 and verse 18, con. Thy heart shall meditate terror, our mind, right? Hey, men of the Lord, we, hey, we ready. We're ready for those spiritual powers, all right? Like it says, our mind, we meditate terror every day. Okay, on how we gonna get our enemies back, but we gotta be patient and wait. All right, Isaiah chapter thirty-three and verse eighteen: Thy heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? Okay, so hey, that's the point in the scripture. We meditate terror on uh, how we gonna get these devils back for all the wickedness they have done, man. All right, I could have sworn. I put these scriptures in here now. Not, let's see. Isaiah, this is Joshua chapter 23 and verse 10. 
one man of you shall chase a thousand for the Lord Yahweh shall your power. He is he it is that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. So one man is gonna be able to put a thousand to flight. We're gonna be able to put a hundred people to flight. Let's get that scripture. Let's prove it. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse. I'm starting verse 7. Leviticus 26 and verse 7. And ye shall chase your enemies, all right? And they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. These people are gonna be running when they see those when they see the men of the Lord getting great with those spiritual powers. Shit, these people ain't gonna know what the hell to do. Little guns, especially you saw them, they're gonna guns. Hey, they able to shoot down Jake right now. But when hey, when Jake get those spiritual powers, when the elect get the spiritual powers, it's over, man. Alright? It's over. A lot of these people out here, they going to run. They ain't going to know where to go. Going to be... <laughs> Boy, I tell you, man. Let's read this. Leviticus 26 and verse 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. Our enemies are going to fall right beside us, man. They ain't going to know what to do on that day. All right? They gonna be especially these wicked ass two thirds of our people, man. These two thirds, you know, think, yeah, 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 we got them, we got them. But man, hey, we ain't worried about death, man. Hey, you know, we all know that some of the men of the Lord are gonna be put to death, but not at all the men of the Lord, man. Some of the men of the Lord are gonna be given those spiritual powers right there. Things gonna go from zero to sixty, right there. And then what you wicked ass two third niggas and spickers gonna do? What y'all gonna do? Shit. The main ones that talk shit about the men of the Lord are gonna be on the run, hiding. <laughs> this is Jer not Jeremiah. This is uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen. It's not like Jer. Damn. Isaiah chapter forty one and verse fourteen. It's lucky. Like Fear not thy worm, Jacob. Why are, we com why are we compared to a worm? Because we're defenseless. We can't do nothing. Like I said earlier, we can't do nothing in these bodies. We're defenseless. And these old, decrepit bodies, we're defenseless, man. We ain't got no power to do anything. That's why we got to wait on the Lord. You know about Shion Shai? And that's what we're doing. All right? Zephaniah 3 and 8. Wait ye upon the Lord. Wait ye upon me, said the Lord Yahweh to the day that I rise up to the prey. All right? And that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on the Lord Yahweh man. Now let's read this. Isaiah 41, verse 14. Fear not thy worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. For I, I will help thee, said the Lord Yahweh and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, which is Yahweh Shai. Verse 15, the point. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That's spiritual powers, man. All right. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and make, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord Yahweh and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel, man. All right. So, hey, when the men of the Lord get those spiritual powers, it's a wrap for you people. Okay? We're well, going to finish it off here. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh Shah of hosts is his name. Verse 20, the point. And thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. All right, the 144,000 mighty men are the Lord's battle axe and weapons of war, man. And we're going to become weapons of war. All right, when we get changed, okay? For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. All right? So, hey, you how about she all shy? All right? He's the air force along with his angels, and we're the ground force, okay? 
We're going to be the ground force. Okay? <clears throat> this is Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus said the Lord Yahweh shall power of hosts, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, said the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh Shinoshite of power. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Verse 14, the point. <clears throat> and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. That's talking about the elect men, okay? And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh Shion Shad of Power, man. So hey, you nations, you especially Esau Edom, and two thirds of our people, you gonna know the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh Shion Shad in that day, okay? Which is underway. Alright. So let's see anything else. Mm, no, I pretty much made my point, man. So, Lord, when I pray this quick lesson was edifying, all right? So, with that, I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about she, y'all shy about she, and Kakadash? Double honors to you, and apostles of great men, storm rule well. And as always, give peace, blessings, and citations to the elect that's got abroad. Till next time, I say, Shalom, one, Barak, down to the elect. Why, blah, blah, blah. Why, blah, I don't want. Destruction to Babylon the Great, and destruction to ye, the mites. And two thirds of my own people, man. Judgment is coming to y'all real soon. Spiritual powers is coming to the elect men of Israel. And hey, we just got to be patient and hold on. Continue to pray, fast, and watch. Because amazing thing, although we're about to enter into terrible times, Jacob's trouble, but good things are going to happen out of Jacob's trouble. Like it says, the elect are going to be saved. With that, Sean Wong. Demon 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. We're the fishers. Begin with Elder Apostle on down, man. We're the fishers. We're fishing, and the bait is the Bible. We're fishing for the elect. If we understand that this truth is only for the elect. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Hey, didn't Yahweh Shai tell Peter he will? Make him fishes of men. There you go. And after will I send for many hunters. So the fishes are going to turn into hunters. Pursuant to the scriptures, the Lord is going to give us spiritual power. Right? And the fishes are going to be turned into hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. That's you niggas. And Esau too. It ain't just you niggas. After we... You know what, after we're done with these niggas, we're going to go for you, Esau. We'll come for you, because you're the ultimate nigga. And I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So the Heavenly Father, he going to give us spiritual power, man. And that's the real power. Spiritual power is much more powerful than a gun, than a bomb or a tank. Because with spiritual power, you can go into the mind of somebody and really fuck them up. Oh, yeah. The example of spiritual power is the movie Lawnmower Man. Isaiah 41 and 15. Here's your Lawnmower Man right there. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not thou worm Jacob. And this is referring to the elect of Israel, starting with them first. And ye men of Israel. Why did the Lord call us a worm? Because we ain't got no power. A worm ain't got no power. A worm can't put up no resistance. Because a worm has no power. So we don't have no power right now. But the Lord said he's going to give us power. Fear not thou worm Jacob, ye men of Israel. I will help thee. How is he going to help us? Let's read on. Say of the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That's a lawnmower man right there. The lawnmower man. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. That's Esau's power. 
So the Lord is going to give us that spiritual power to come against Esau and to come against you niggas. First, he's going to take care of you niggas inside the truth and outside of the truth. Then he's going to go for Esau. Thou shalt touch the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. That's a metaphor for kicking much ass. That's what that's a metaphor for. Kicking much ass. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, and we're going to glory and rejoice after we do that job, after we do that work. Lord's going to give us the power to do that work, man. Put in that work. You niggas, you're going to get that work. You're going to get it. Oh, you're going to get it. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. By the way, the name Israel means he's the prince of power, meaning like a god. Oh yes, the Lord is going to make us gods once again. Where it is in this kingdom, we will lower them worms, <laughs> the Lord called Jacob a worm, but we're going to go from being as low as a worm to being as high as a god. But thou Israel art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, behold, I will make thee a new, sharp, threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind. 
shalt scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the whole of Israel. Psalm 82 and 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Those are the Israelites. Actually, the word there is sons. The sons of the Most High are the Israelites. Israel means he is a prince of power. 